Victor, this year in the NFL, the Saints are one of several teams that fell short of playoff expectations, perhaps none more than the Dallas Cowboys. But considering the dramatic one-year turnarounds for teams like the Atlanta Falcons and Miami Dolphins, there's plenty to look forward to when waiting to next year. I caught up with Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, who agreed to speak as long as I didn't ask about the coaching situation because he said he's already addressed that, and that I didn't ask about Terrell Owens, which in a way kind of answers the question that wasn't asked. But there was still plenty to talk about. A blitz. Marion Barber loses the football. It's another defensive touchdown. What's it like for you as the draft process is beginning, especially after the season you just went through? Well, I think it's a, uh, since we have the numbers of picks that we have with the Cowboys, and um, since uh, many of the players that we draft will have to play for us next year, uh, this makes it a, a really critical uh, process for us. And the evaluation, that's why we brought all of our coaches here and uh, certainly all of our scouting department. If you need some draft picks to play for you, how much more important does it become because you also gave up some significant draft picks to get Roy Williams? Well, the reason we gave that up is uh, that number one pick almost assuredly would have been on a receiver. And um, we like uh, we were able to get it done. It's going to be difficult signing number one picks this year. And so we wanted to get that done, and we liked Roy Williams. It was the most important thing. And we had so many other draft picks. And so with the depth of our picks, the numbers of picks, uh, then that made it a good thing to do for us. And you go through this process every year. How much uh, tougher or different, if at all, is it considering the punch in the stomach you got by not making the playoffs? Well, I would say that it's not good uh, to be here at the Senior Bowl in one way, and that is that means you're not preparing for the Super Bowl. And so everybody here in that sense is disappointed. And, of course, you're getting ready for a huge season with a new stadium. I know you're always very optimistic. What do you think in terms about your team, the decisions that you have to face, and getting ready for what's a big, big year? Well, we've got a team that we feel very good about and uh, feel very good about key players that are involved on the team. And if we do a good job in this draft, uh, we won't be doing much in free agency. Uh, but if we do a good job in this draft, then uh, uh, that's the way, that's the best thing we can do, do to uh, uh, cure or to mitigate the disappointment we've had this year. And yes, we are excited about going into that new stadium. So you sense the Cowboys will be quiet between now and draft day? Well, I don't know that the word is quiet, but uh, because it's a big uh, uh, thing for us to evaluate and get these players. Uh, but from the standpoint of uh, uh, free agency, uh, we've really uh, extended several of the players that we know the best. We've done that deliberately. Those are our own players. Uh, we just need to get these uh, young players and get them on the field. One thing we can count on from Jerry Jones, if there's someone or something he thinks can help his team win, he'll make it happen no matter how it might be perceived. Another person unafraid of perception is Alabama head coach Nick Saban. Despite this being an extremely busy time of year for him with recruiting and signing day right around the corner, Saban took time to support his now former Alabama players by coming to Mobile in the Senior Bowl. And Mike Neighbors has more. You could say this about Nick Saban. He still keeps in touch with his players. This was clear at the Senior Bowl where the Bama coach stopped by to say hi to who else? His seniors. We have four guys in this game, and you know we're, we're happy to come here and support them. They did a wonderful job for our team and uh, provided great leadership with the energy, enthusiasm that they had, the standard of excellence that uh, you know they played to this year, and we're happy to to be here to support them. He told me just be myself and not try to do too much. You know, um, just go out there and, and make the throws you know you can and, and uh, play with poison. Everybody should try to play to their capacity. I mean, I coached in this game in 1991, I think, and. Uh, when with Bill Belichick when we were at the Cleveland Browns and you know it's a great experience for these guys and an opportunity to show what they can do in front of the entire league. Sure Nick Saban is supporting his guys here at the Senior Bowl but with signing day right around the corner he has bigger fish to fry. Of course last year the Alabama coach had the number one recruiting class in the country. This offseason he lost a pair of assistants but feels that shouldn't hurt his cause. After all Saban says recruiting players is kind of like selling cars. 
when guys uh, make decisions about schools and commitments to schools, you know, they're buying the program. They're committing to the whole program. And, you know, 99% of the program has stayed the same, and we have a quality program. We've done a great job with our players academically and have a very high graduation rate and actually lead the SEC that way. And, um, you know, we've done a lot to develop the people. Uh, I think we made some improvements in the football team and the program, and these guys all have an opportunity to win and compete for a championship. And uh, so they're really buying into the whole program. So, you know, the guy that sells you the car maybe not as important as the car itself. And, um, you know, we, we, we want to have a Mercedes at our place. And when the signing day comes, if we get some of the players that we have committed right now and a few more to complement them, uh, you know, it'll be an outstanding class for us and what we need. We don't have quite the numbers this year that we had a year ago in terms of, you know, numbers of scholarships, but we feel good about the position that we're in right now. We just need to finish it the, just like always, you know, it's the fourth quarter and we need to finish it. So Saban's looking forward, but he also looked back, back at his second season in Tuscaloosa, which bowled the Tide Nation over. That was until the bowl game. We weren't really pleased with the way we played in the Sugar Bowl. Um, I don't think that we played with enough intensity and sense of urgency in terms of what we were doing. And, um, you know, it's too bad for the team because they had accomplished so much and uh, done such a good job all year that uh, that's the only time that we were disappointed in the way they competed. No sophomore saving jinx for Nick, where you get the feeling trips to the Senior Bowl will be as common as trips to BCS Bowl games. In Mobile, Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight. Thank you, Mike. The likes of Bill Parcells, Jerry Jones, and other giants of the NFL are always treated with a great deal of respect here at the Senior Bowl. But anywhere Nick Saban goes in the state of Alabama, he's treated like a rock star. That's it for now for Mobile, but count on plenty of pre-draft coverage between now and draft day here on CST tonight. But for now, Victor, back to you.